Welcome to the WordPress SEO tutorial series. These videos will teach you how to configure and use the WordPress SEO plugin by Yoast to optimize your site and increase your chances of being found in Google and other search engines. When the WordPress SEO plugin is properly installed, you'll see a new panel just below the editor when you create or edit a post or page in WordPress. In this video, we'll take a look at the General tab, which contains the most important SEO settings for your post or page. The first thing you'll see is the Snippet Preview, which shows how this post will appear in Google's search results. As we edit these settings, the Snippet Preview will update in real time, showing us the effects of our changes. The first thing we need to do is enter a focus keyword. This is the main topic or phrase that summarizes what this post or page is about, and it's the keyword we want folks to search for in Google in order to discover this particular post or page. When you start typing, the plugin opens a dropdown with suggested keywords and phrases loaded directly from Google. Notice that the plugin has already started analyzing our content. Items that need attention are highlighted in red while items that appear in green are acceptable. It's a good idea to make changes until all or most of these items are correct. The SEO title field is perhaps the most important because it contains the actual title that will appear at the top of your search results. The plugin automatically suggests a title, shown here in gray, based on the SEO settings for your site. You can change the suggested title by simply typing your own into this field. And finally, the Meta Description field contains a brief summary description of this page, which will be shown in search results. If this field is left empty, Google will automatically generate a description from the first paragraph of content on the page. The snippet preview above mimics what will be shown in Google based on the existing settings. The description should entice people to click and visit your website, so it's a good idea to write your own description. Search engines limit the description to about 156 characters, a bit less if there's a date in the snippet, so the plugin keeps count for you. It's also very important that your description contains the focus keyword for which you're trying to rank. Now that these fields are complete, the plugin tells us that the focus keyword appears correctly in the article heading, the page URL, in the content itself, and in both the page title and meta description. And the snippet preview shows us exactly how this post will appear in Google when people search for our focus keywords. In the next video, we'll look at the page analysis tab.